Our channel just shared a video about spies a few days ago. In fact, in today's modernized information society, the competition between countries is not only limited to the economic and military power perspectives, because of the continuous advancement of information technology, the hidden surveillance activities between countries are also beginning to be gradually exposed. In mid-August 2022, U.S. Space News wrote a story about a Chinese aircraft. I was very surprised when I saw this article, because this article introduced, the data of the tracking of Chinese aircraft by the 18th Defense Force of the U.S. Space Force is described in great detail. It not only clearly stated that the Chinese spacecraft is a repeatable space shuttle, but also announced many details, such as, what day was it launched, how high the orbit was, and how long did it run. Even the two inspection satellites next to it were described very clearly, and they even gave this aircraft a number, 53357. This is not over yet. In order to increase the credibility, this article is also accompanied by a map of the Chinese launch site, which clearly shows the structure of the Chinese launch site. In mid-August, China did launch a reusable spacecraft, but China disclosed very little information, only a brief sentence from Chinese official media such as Xinhua News Agency, saying, Jiuquan Center launched a reusable spacecraft. That is to say, Chinese aerospace officials have adopted strict secrecy measures, but the 18th Space Defense Force of the United States has obtained a lot of information. In fact, the United States has systematically monitored all countries in the world. So, how did they track China's spaceflight, and what impact does it have on China? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hot Topics Time. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. The 18th Space Defense Force is part of the U.S. Space Command and is responsible for the optical portion of the space surveillance network. They have, on hand, not only a movable optical surveillance system, but also a space surveillance complex built on Maui, and four other stations in other parts of the globe that provide round-the-clock, no-blind-angle surveillance of man-made spacecraft outside the Earth. In addition, the commercial aerospace of the United States also has such a function. In May of 2022, Maxer conducted a long-term follow-up filming of China's 003 aircraft carrier dock. When the dock was undocked, when the dock was emptied, and when the dock operation device was dismantled, it was clearly photographed by it. By the way, Foreign media speculated that China's 003 aircraft carrier is about to be launched based on commercial satellite photos provided by Maxer. Do you feel very insecure after seeing this? In fact, modern satellites and optical instruments are very developed, and every country has similar systems, but the US surveillance system is very advanced. It has been in development for more than 70 years, both with its own surveillance systems and with resources from other countries and commercial companies. So, how did they achieve real-time monitoring of Chinese satellites? It needs to be explained here. In fact, the launches of spacecraft from various countries are almost always public, because each spacecraft has two identity cards of its own, one is, the International Satellite Identification Symbol, COSPER ID, and the other is, the Satellite Catalog Number. The International Satellite Identification Number is used to name and identify artificial satellites. In 1958, due to the development of artificial satellites, the international community was worried that if too many satellites were launched, it would cause space pollution, affect scientists' exploration of space, and cause satellite collisions. Therefore, a member of the International Space Research Committee was established. Of course, this is the superficial reason, but as for the actual and real reason, you can think by yourself. 
After the establishment of the International Space Research Committee, it issued a series of regulations to restrict satellites of various countries, among which is the establishment of an international satellite identification symbol. It means that every artificial satellite launched needs to be reported, and then the International Space Research Committee will give it a COSPER ID. And countries can find all kinds of information about the spacecraft through this number. The current numbering work is managed by the National Space Science Data Center under the jurisdiction of NASA in the United States. That is to say, although the spacecraft launched by China is kept secret, some basic information such as orbits will still be recorded in the ID number. For example, its COSPER ID is 2022-093A, and the first four digits are the year of launch. The last three digits are the order of the launch in the current year, and the letters are the order of departure from the launcher. In addition, the United States also achieves the purpose of monitoring the world through the Five Eyes Alliance, as well as cooperation with commercial aerospace and even technology companies. Everyone must be familiar with the cooperation between the United States and technology companies. For example, the communication network monitoring, they can use cables, routers and other communication equipment to monitor key institutions. There are many network cases, and the most famous one is Prism Gate. In 2013, Snowden broke the news that the U.S. National Security Agency has been monitoring networks and computers in countries around the world through Cisco routers and other technology giants since 2007. Later, Huawei rose to become the world's largest network equipment supplier, breaking the pattern of the telecommunications network infrastructure industry dominated by the West. Since the U.S. surveillance methods are so developed, does China have any countermeasures? In fact, China has made a lot of responses. First of all, China has supported domestic communication and internet companies, and has put the most important data security in its own hands. In some important places, China resolutely uses domestic network equipment such as Huawei and ZTE. For foreign technology companies, China also requires them to keep valuable data in China. As for the eyes staring at China in space, China also has its own way to deal with it. For some advanced equipment, China can avoid the prying eyes of satellites by improving mobility. For example, the space plane launched this time has the ability to maneuver in the atmosphere and can choose the landing site independently, which greatly increases the difficulty of satellite monitoring. Another example is the Dongfeng series of missiles. China has put the missiles on mobile launch vehicles, which greatly improves the mobility of the missiles and makes it more difficult for satellites to capture information. For those devices that are bulky and cannot be moved, measures such as covering and concealment are adopted to isolate them from prying eyes. When the 003 aircraft carrier was launched, there were also several shed on the ship, the purpose was to cover up the advanced equipment on the ship. Of course, these are passive defensive methods, and China also has active attack methods. In January of this year, an American commercial aerospace company discovered an unusual thing when monitoring spacecraft in space, China's Shijian-21 satellite dragged a disused Beidou satellite in geosynchronous orbit to a farther, grave orbit and became a space cleaner. Moreover, after the completion of the mission, the Shijian-21 satellite also spontaneously returned to its original orbit, indicating that this space cleaning project can be repeated. This means that if other countries conspire against Chinese satellites, China can also counterattack in time. Of course, even if China has so many countermeasures, fighting against the surveillance empire is destined to be a long process. Of course, security and privacy have always been a public concern, and the legality and necessity of such surveillance operations should be thoroughly thought out and debated. We need to find a balance between safeguarding national security and protecting individual privacy and freedom. Okay, that's all for today.
Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.